Hi friends, come on in. It's time for online story time. I am Miss Sierra from the Red Bank Public Library. I'm so glad you're here. I'm seeing comments from some of my friends and I miss my little library friends. So I'm glad you're watching me and hopefully we'll see each other again in person soon. I'm reading stories about gardens today, but let's start with a song from the song ball. It's landing on Twinkle Twinkle. We haven't done that in a little while. Make sure when we do this song that you make your stars go up high and you get your diamond, practice that. And here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Here we go. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very nice. Hey, it's Friday, so it's pajama day again. And that's why I look like this. I'm going to read you a good story. It's a big book. I brought some of my big books home. This one is called Up, Down, and Around. It's by Katherine Ayers and illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. And in this book, you're going to hear these words, up, down, and around. So when I say up, I want you to point up. When I say down, I want you to point down. And when I say around, see if you can do this, like the wheels on the bus, okay? Up, down, and around. Here we go. I wanna make sure everybody can see. In the dirt, we'll dig a row, drop some seeds, and watch them grow. Dirt piles up, seeds go down, and water splashes around and around. Corn grows up, point up, and carrots grow down. And cucumbers climb around and around. Are you doing your hands with me? Okay, peppers grow up and potatoes grow down. Pumpkin vi pumpkins vine around and around. This is really a nice garden they have. Broccoli grows up and beets grow down. And green beans wind around and around. Okra grows up and onions grow down. Oh, what's this? And tomatoes twine around and around. I have to do my head because my hands are holding this book. Fresh and tasty, get a bunch, pick some, pull some. Let's have lunch. Look at all the things they picked and what they made to eat. Looks like they made soup with all the vegetables and a beautiful salad. They've got some corn on the cob and sandwiches and pumpkin pie. That's awesome. While you're home, maybe you can work in your garden. Up, down, and around. Good job, everybody. Yay, I'll clap for you for being good listeners. 
And I think I have a new song for us to do. I gotta find my mystery spot on the song ball. It's a song about shapes. I need to go get some books about shapes so we can have some story times about shapes, but we can practice our shapes anytime. So it goes like this. If you know this shape, shout it out. It's a rectangle. If you know this shape, shout it out. It's a star. If you know this shape, if you know this shape, if you know this shape, shout it out. Triangle. We're gonna do one more. If you know this shape, shout it out. It's a square. If you know this shape, shout it out. It's a circle. If you know this shape, if you know this shape, if you know this shape, shout it out. It's a star. And we just sang Twinkle Twinkle. The star is so pretty because it's golden and shiny. I like it. All right, good job. You can practice looking for shapes anywhere. The pillows on your couch, maybe they're squares. The clock on your wall, I bet that's a circle. Um, pictures on your bookcase, those might be rectangles. There's shapes everywhere. All right, let's read another story about gardens. This one is called My Garden, and it's by Kevin Hankies. And this is a cute book. This girl has a great imagination. It says, my mother has a garden and I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden, there would be no weeds and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. In my garden, the flowers could change colors just by my thinking about it. Pink and blue and green and purple, even patterns. Look at these flowers with polka dots and stripes. That would be cool. And if you picked a flower, another one would grow right back in its place. Look, she's picking all these flowers and then doink, 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 doink new flowers. That would be fantastic. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be made of chocolate and I would eat them. That's funny. If I planted seashells, I'd grow seashells. I love that idea. Look at a garden full of shells. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Did anybody get jelly beans for Easter? Yum, what if you could just pick them off a bush and eat them? Sometimes in my garden, Good, unusual things would just pop up, like buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds so that the air was humming with wings. The tomatoes would grow to be as big as beach balls and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. <laughs> and at night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and the strawberries would glow like lanterns. It's night now. Only the fireflies and the porch light are glowing. 
Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and go to the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? I cover it up with dirt and pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing? asked my mother. Oh, nothing I say, just working in the garden. And then look at this page. There's the seashell that she planted and there's a little root coming out of it. It's gonna make a seashell plant. Awesome. The end. Hey, very nice. Those are two good stories. I hope that you like them. It's time to do some singing and dancing. So first we're gonna start by doing Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Julia, my assistant Julia, is gonna help me. Here we go. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, you gotta stand up. Get ready to move. And get moving. Here we go. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Turn around. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch the ground. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, reach up high. Oh, hi. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch the sky. Reach way up. Uh, Good job. Here we go. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, find your nose. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your knees. Teddy bear, teddy bear, sit down please. Teddy bear, teddy bear, sit down please. Thank you. Very nice. And now that you're sitting, I'm gonna play a new song for you. Um, it's about shapes. We sang one shape song. This is by the Singing Walrus. We're gonna put these links in the comments of this post. And this is a good song. It's gonna test and see how well you know your shapes.
Triangle. Say it. Triangle. Square. Square. Rectangle. Rectangle. Circle. Triangle. Square. Rectangle. different song for us to do right I like that one I like that little band too so thanks for coming to online story time today I hope you guys are doing really well I know you're growing big and I hope you're enjoying time with your family and learning new things and I look forward to seeing you again next time be sure to check out our Facebook page our YouTube channel all the things that the Red Bank Public Library is doing for you while you're home. All right, take care.